Kyle Thornley, uh, artist blacksmith here again, just doing a, uh, another quick video, sort of showing you uh, one of the products that I'm going to be showing at the uh, Double Doors exhibition, just uh, coming up soon. Just done a series of, of candle holders. Uh, it's, a, you know, it's a fairly simple design, sort of inspired by uh, Jeff Fetty, another artist blacksmith uh, from the States, I think West Virginia or something. But uh, it's, a, it's a cool product, so I'm just going to show you how one is made and just take a peek here at, uh, at the series. These, these candlesticks are all quite similar, but they do have a, uh, uh, a key feature which makes them uh, different from one another. It's just sort of a, a random blob or, or twist in the center that, uh, that makes them unique. Materials that, uh, that go into the candle holders. Uh, for the top top disc, use a 1 8 plate and that gets cut out with a plasma cutter. For the bottom base, it is a quarter inch material and it gets cut out of uh, this quarter, quarter inch by 8 inch flat bar and that's with a plasma cutter. And for the uh, for sort of the, the stem, it, uh, it's half inch diameter round stock and it's cut out to about three and a half feet right now and as it gets forged it will uh, on either end it will grow significantly but then we claim a good chunk in the middle when we twist it up to create the, uh, the design. So we're going to be cutting out uh, circles for the, the, uh, the top little catch tray and, uh, and the circular base for the bottom and uh, I don't know if you ever tried drawing even circles by hand with a pencil or pen, it's quite difficult. And the same, same goes with the, the plasma cutter trying to cut out a nearly true circle. Um, these paint lids work pretty well, nice circles. Um, so just have to find the, the center of the, the paint can lid and, uh, and drill it out a quarter inch hole. And then so you basically place this paint lid onto the material that you're hoping for. Mark out a center point where you'd like, and then you need to uh, you need to center punch the holes in the material, and then drill out a quarter inch hole into the drill press.
after the, uh, the drip trays for the top of the candle holders. Just uh, thinning out the edges, adding a texture. Uh, they're thicker in the middle and they end up getting uh, cut. Okay. individual looking anyway and uh, to do that I've just sort of allotted or marked out six inches near the center I mean we could use a little bit more if we decide to but it just uh, gets us gives us a starting point in which to work with so this straight bar will ultimately end up being sort of curled and twisted and, and look pretty cool so uh, so to do this, to give it the nice tight bend, we want a very isolated heat. And uh, to do that, we could use a cold forge, which you know heats up a reasonable uh, area. But we use, but I use a, a propane or an oxygen and acetylene rosebud, and uh, and it provides us with you know a nice concentrated couple of inches of heat, so that we can make nice tight bends and make uh, sort of really unique, unique shape and look.
so that I have a more isolated heat to make my last bend, which will bring uh, this piece back upright and in line with the bottom so that the candle holder will be straight up and well balanced.